Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty. Look at that guy with a plastic garbage bag over his face. Didn't his mama ever tell him you could suffocate yourself? But we're not here to talk about garbage bag safe. We're here to talk about the longbow. When last I visited it, I said it was dead. I was attending the funeral. So I decided to pull it back out and see if maybe Grandpa overreacted just a little bit. Here's the configuration I used. Of course, you got to start with the Jack Tyrant. Jack Tyrant gives you 11% increase in ADS speed. Look at all the gun kick. But it's a sniper rifle. I'm going to free for all. If the gun kicks, I'm dead. I mean, if I don't hit first shot. But the effective damage range is up by 30%. And look at the damage. Heads, 280. Upper torso, 210. Lower torso, 175. That is all pro sniper type damage. So I decided to see if I could configure it so that it maybe aimed downside a little bit better. And I did. You can see that we got a composite 408 milliseconds. That's fast for a sniper rifle, especially one that will give you a kill in the lower torso. So let's take a look at the rest of this configuration. The demo, 650, a grip. Flinch resistance down 20%, but that's part of that 408 millisecond composite aim down sight speed. Increases to the ADS movement speed. Basically, it's a good thing. Uh, you can maybe find something else if you don't like the flinch, but it's still 120 newtons or <laughs> 1.2 newtons, which is a, again, an all world statistic for sniper rifles. It's at the higher end. Gotta have the quick bolt. 35% increase in rate of fire, 31% decrease in rechamber speed, no downsides. We're going with the Moore's dot sight. Does it help with anything? It helps us look through the glass because no increase in ADS, no negative effects either. It's just the sight. The true tack short barrel increases all the speeds, hurts a little bit with the recoil, but we've already said if we are recoiling, we're flopping on the ground. That's what's causing the recoil from taking a bullet. Effective damage range, minimum damage range, and velocity go down just a little bit for the bullet, but we're going to accept that for the increases in speed, especially the 7% to the aim down sight speed. All right, there it is. Let's take this beast onto the field of battle and see what happens. What do we have to compare the longbow to in its current incarnation? I think the inhibitor. Bullet velocity is down. Red is bad for the longbow. Highlighted red, very bad. Green, good. The lower torso, though, it's a one-shot kill. 35 units better in damage than, uh, than the inhibitor. So the inhibitor is not a one-shot kill to the lower torso. The longbow still is. With the Jack Tyrant, by the way, you have to have the Jack Tyrant kit on it. What about the kill metrics? There it is. Highlighted in yellow, minus one to the lower torso. Now the vertical recoil, very bad. But as I said, the recoil, if you miss your shot, is gonna come from you post-mortem muscle twitch on the ground because you've been gacked because you're gonna use this up close. And finally, what about the performance? Well, the sprint to fire speed is outstanding at 196 milliseconds. So that's good. So we're in free for all. All right, there's an easy kill. Take your time, line it up, gack in the head. Somebody just kind of touring, maybe thinking about who knows what. Somebody at a little bit of distance and I miss and throw out a few love taps with the Renetti to go ahead and close out the kill there. Anywhere from the lower torso up is a one-shot kill as long as you're within 15 meters. Oh, what's going on there? I think they stepped on my proximity mine. So I get pretty far behind at the beginning. Don't feel a lot of confidence because... I did say the longbow was buried before. Go out, my child, and do work, mosquito child of mine. Had time to line that one up, and I missed. And there comes the obligatory knifer. Remote turret. That means Grandpa probably gets gacked putting it out. And whoa. 
guy kind of came from nowhere. A few more love taps. And you know what? I'm starting to like the longbow again. I don't want to admit it. Nobody likes to admit when they're wrong. And that I wrongly ended a pretty good streak there that got me a good... Look at that guy annoying. He's annoying my turret. It's not good for teamwork. There's a miss. And if you're going to peek again, give me time to aim. I may get that shot. Turret's doing work. Let's see if anybody else is annoying it. Nobody. Nobody. He's coming back. There's Cheech. Cheech Marin. Look at that. Look at those shots I missed. How embarrassing. But we've got a decent lead, and what Grandpa usually does with a decent lead is he gives it up. He lets the opponents get back within a point or two. There I am. Consecutive bouts of buying the farm. But I managed to come back. Still have a few kills to give. And I'm not even going to pull the trigger unless I have a chance. And also the rate of fire is pretty good. You're carrying, what, 25 rounds, 30 rounds? I don't know. But almost never have to reload the longbow. That's still an advantage. A Snickers win, 30 kills. It's so satisfying. My overall impression of the longbow 408 millisecond aim down sight, one shot to the lower torso, and the ADS movement speed is great. So I take back some of what I said about it being dead. Maybe it's worth using in certain situations. Anyways, please like and subscribe. Peace and cheers.